Sunday, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Just made myself some Sunday morning pancakes. I used the Trader Joe's buttermilk protein pancake mix, and I also added an egg for some extra protein, but they're actually really yummy, and I just cut up some strawberries, added some chocolate chips, and maple syrup, of course. So I'm gonna sit down and eat my little Sunday morning breakfast. I just wanted to start off a new vlog. I feel like I haven't done a Sunday vlog in forever. I did a weekend vlog not too long ago for Easter. I just feel like I'm always vlogging during the week. So I just wanted to switch it up around here so I don't bore you guys. I'm 27 weeks today, which is so crazy. Like every single time I open my little app, I'm like, how is this even real? <laughs> I posted on my story the other day too, a picture of my bump and I'm like, Pregnancy is so weird, like it still doesn't feel real. I feel like the only time it's gonna feel real is when I'm going into labor and when I see the baby physically, but it just doesn't feel real that there's a literal human that I'm growing. It's just the weirdest thing, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm 27 weeks today, 13 weeks to go, which is so crazy. And I feel like that's gonna go by so fast. It says he's 14 and a half inches, two pounds and he's as big as a cabbage so <laughs> that's a little pregnancy update anyways like i said just wanted to do a little sunday vlog make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and i hope you guys enjoy the vlog today I usually do like three scoops whenever I use this matcha. What I love about the peak packets is that they're already like in the packet. You don't have to scoop it out yourself. But I feel like three scoops is usually a good amount. I also like to throw in some cinnamon powder. Why did I just say cinnamon powder? <laughs> just regular cinnamon in with the matcha just to make it a bit sweeter since I'm not the biggest fan of the taste of matcha like it's not that good to me so that's why i sweeten it up with the cinnamon and then with the creamer it's really good this is always my favorite part <laughs> just pouring this right on top hey cheeto that's not for you I got these pickleball cups for Zach for Easter and they're so cute, but how yummy does this look? I always get made fun of on TikTok. Someone, like there's always at least one person who comments and is like, oh, there's so much creamer in that, blah, blah, blah. That's not how you make a regular matcha, but this is how I make mine. It's really yummy. It's very creamy. And I don't know, I just cannot drink it without the creamer the taste is a little bit too strong for me so that's how i like to make it so if you want to make it at home that's how i do it it's really good zach and i are gonna go to lunch he's at the gym right now so i'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup and get ready <laughs> my nose is a little bit red because i was just crying if you guys watched my last vlog i've just been dealing with a lot going through a lot of anxiety and mental health stuff and i just had a little moment to myself i'm completely fine i just get inside my own head sometimes and can't control my emotions and the tears just come out so my nose is a little bit red from crying but it's fine but i'm gonna put in my new earrings that i got from amazon i also showed these in my last vlog they're so cute they're like little coupled hoops I guess you would call them. They're just so much different than your average normal hoop. I really want to get like different accessories like this because I just think they're so cute. And they were, I think they were 12 bucks. So super affordable. And they're very lightweight. They're not heavy on your ears. Because I don't like earrings that like drag your ears down. They're perfect. How cute. I love them. I can link them for you. I threw on this long sleeve from Amazon. It's by the Anne Robest brand. They have the best quality clothes. They're so good. It's like a butter yellow and I love it. And then I have on some linen pants that I got from Target. I can show you 
like my full outfit afterwards because I'll probably throw a sweater over my shoulders or something. It's a little chilly, but we're gonna do quick makeup. Actually, I'm gonna put on some bronzer first, my Merit bronzer. I don't even know where we're going for lunch. We haven't picked a place yet, but we just wanna go out for lunch. It's Sunday, it's a chill day, and I feel like we haven't been going out to places as much. We've just been so busy with literally everything and trying to figure everything out. I don't think I told you guys, there was a house that we put an offer in not too long ago, and I was talking about this in my last vlog, that we didn't get it, our offer didn't get accepted. The people's offer that they did accept, I guess their financing fell through, and the sellers came to us asking, you know, like if we wanted to put another offer in, blah, blah, blah. So we did put in another offer. And honestly, at this point, I'm not even like hoping or wishing that we get the house. I'm just completely, like I feel so removed from the situation now that I'm like, whatever. I'm almost hoping that we don't get the house, which sounds crazy because of how stressed we've been and how badly we've been wanting to get a house and all of this stuff. But something inside me is just telling me that it's not the right time. And I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like I'm a very intuitive person. And honestly, I just, I just feel like it was so rushed and so forced. It just doesn't feel like the right time. And I know buying a house, it's probably never gonna feel like the right time because it's one of the biggest purchases of your life. It just feels like we should rent for another year. If they accept our offer, I don't even know like what we're gonna do. And that would be crazy if we deny it. Like if they <laughs> accept our offer and then we're like, yeah, never mind. Seeing as how much time and effort we've been putting into house hunting over the last few months. I just think that would be so funny. I think we're supposed to find out tomorrow if they accept it or not. But like I said, at this point, I'm not even hoping or wishing that we get it. Like it's just too much for me at this point. And at this point in my pregnancy, I'm just kind of over it. And I don't really want to be moving in my third trimester. That just sounds horrible and I've already been so stressed I feel like this whole pregnancy with this situation so I don't know but I figured I would give you a little update on that I got sent the new rare beauty blushes and the shade is so pretty this is joy it's stunning it's like this really pretty coral color so we're gonna use this for blush today I also have my glucose test not this coming week, but the week after that. I think it's the 25th, April 25th. And I'm so nervous about it. Oh my goodness, if you guys have been pregnant before and you've done the glucose test, let me know how it went for you because I hear so many different stories. A lot of people say that it wasn't that bad. A lot of people say it was disgusting. What scares me the most is that you have to drink it in a certain amount of time. I think it's like five minutes. And that pressure, like I'm not good under pressure and I feel like I'm just gonna be so anxious. The flavors that I see the most are orange, fruit punch, and lemon lime. And I've heard people say that the lemon lime one is the best one. But then again, other people say the orange just kind of tastes like flat old orange soda and it's not really that bad. I don't know, I just have a little bit of anxiety about that and I can't stop thinking about it. And then I'm also scared, like what if I don't pass? I don't even know what they do if you don't pass. I also saw this girl on TikTok, she bought her own form of like the glucose test. It was like a totally different brand. And I guess she asked her doctor if that was okay for her to do and she said yes. I'm just gonna suck it up and we'll see on that day I'll probably be vlogging. I'm gonna do a little bit of lip liner. This is Tower 28 in the shade, I don't even know what shade this is. Oh, fill me in, I guess. Cheetos feeder just went off if you hear that in the background. But the shade is really pretty. It's just very natural. I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of Merit highlighter in Kava. I'm gonna put on this perfume from Ellis Brooklyn in Salt. This stuff smells so good. I got this in my advent calendar over Christmas, the anthropology one, it smells so good. I really wanna get the spray bottle because I wanna be able to spray it on me. 
but it's such like a beachy summery scent and it smells divine so i've been using this pretty much every time i put on perfume so good here's the full outfit i just have my hair slicked back those earrings that i showed you amazon top i threw over this sweater that's from princess polly because it's a little bit chilly i think it's like 60 out and the sun keeps poking through so just in case it's not that warm and then these are the pants that are from target it's so weird <laughs> wearing pants like under my belly because the crotch is always super low and i feel like it always looks funny but these are actually really cute i'll link them for you they have pockets on the side and i just like the detailing i think they're really cute and then for shoes i'm just wearing some brown javiana flip-flops these ones have the square toe and then i just have my long champ bag still don't know where we're going zach still isn't back from the gym yet but i wanted to share my outfit with you i feel very springy can't believe how big my belly is getting recently i feel like every day it looks so much bigger and it's so weird to look at myself like every time i walk by the mirror i'm like oh my god there's a baby in there good morning vlog i figured i would bring this vlog into today since obviously i didn't film the rest of yesterday on sunday it ended up being a crappy day after lunch because I was telling you how we put in a new offer for that house. And the funny thing is, is that we were kind of going back and forth with the agent, like on their side, the seller's agent. And she was like, okay, well, if you can do this number, then we'll be able to make it work. Like we'll probably be able to make it work. And so we were like, okay. And we offered a little bit less. And then we were like, you know what? We'll just offer what they're asking for. So we did, which is the story I was telling you guys yesterday. And they ended up having an open house yesterday and accepted another offer. So they came back and said, you know, like, thank you for your offer, but we accepted a different one, which I just think is so shady because we were going back and forth so many times with these people. And they literally said like, if you can do this number, then we'll be able to make it work. And for them to just turn around and have an open house and not even accept our offer is just, I don't know, like I, I get it and you want to get as much out of it as possible, but I just feel like that was so shitty to do. So we were kind of both really aggravated yesterday after lunch, so I didn't really vlog the rest of the day, so I figured I would just bring it into Monday, but that's the situation with the house I can't even like I'm not that mad about it I'm just mad about the way that they handled it because I was saying you know what if we don't get the house whatever like I'm not that concerned about getting a house anymore at this point but like I said just the way that they handled it and the fact that they said we'll be able to make it work I don't know so I just thought that was very shitty but anyways it's Monday morning it's currently 10 o'clock I just got some work done on my computer because I really really want to go for a walk it's going to be I think almost 70 degrees today currently 55 my car says 55 so i have on a little vest from free people i showed this in my last vlog and then just a crew neck and some biker shorts it's so sunny it feels like spring and early summer out this morning so i'm like i need to get outside and go for a walk so i'm gonna go to this pond that i would go to over the summer i just like need a change of scenery i was gonna walk by the apartment but that just gets so boring after a while just seeing the same scene over and over again and the pond is so pretty so we're gonna head over there but i put a bunch of eucalyptus oil in my nose my sinuses are so congested and i'm always blowing my nose and it's just a part of pregnancy i guess just dealing with all the congestion so i put eucalyptus like all in my nostrils and it's helping so much so i'm gonna keep this on hand with me because it's like a lifesaver. I'd rather use that than like Vicks vapor rub and all that stuff because there's just like so many chemicals in all of these products. Like as I'm growing older, I'm like realizing what is actually in our food, in the products that we use every single day, like it's insane. So the eucalyptus oil works 
wonders and then i also brought my water zach ordered these element packets off of amazon which everyone's always raving about element and this is the watermelon salt flavor i tried one the other day it's so good but they're so salty but i like it like it's like a good taste so i'm gonna put this packet in my water i think he used half of it he's been putting like half of the packets in the water just because it is super salty but you do get used to it i think this is like my third packet i've had but this one's really good the watermelon salt so i really want to order more of those but i'm always hearing everyone rave about element oh my god i can't get over how salty it is and that was only half the packet okay i just didn't mix it good enough oh my god but it's really good <laughs> Minus the choking. Just got home. I ended up going to Market Basket on the way home. I figured I would go there instead of Trader Joe's because every time I go to Trader Joe's I always have to end up going to Target anyways to get everything that Trader Joe's doesn't have. Just wanted to get some groceries for the week because I didn't go, I think I went Wednesday last week and I just waited way too long and I had like no food in the fridge. So got some hummus, some chicken, canned chicken breast to make chicken salad, baby carrots, peppers, celery i've been loving celery with peanut butter some strawberries blueberries cotton candy grapes i hope these taste good because these are like my absolute favorite some cape cod chips honey nut cheerios i like to have that as a snack sometimes at night got some chocolate covered almonds these looked really good the snack size perfect bars these ones are chocolate covered peanut butter usually I get the chocolate chip ones but to switch it up i got these ones cheese sticks cottage cheese some yogurt regular milk whipped cream to have with the strawberries and then i picked up some more milk oat milk lastly i got red raspberry leaf tea apparently this helps labor go pretty smoothly i've heard from everything that i've seen on tiktok and it's so weird because i'm literally in the third trimester next week but I don't think you're supposed to start it till like 34 weeks or something like that but i just wanted to get it that way i have it in case so i got two boxes so that was my little grocery haul I'm gonna put everything away up in the shower because i'm so sweaty from my walk i ended up going two times around i think it was like a total of three miles or like a little bit over three and it's so nice outside so i'm gonna put all of these groceries away it's literally almost eight o'clock i'm making dinner right now i just have some chicken sausage that's pretty much done. Probably gonna do rice and sweet potato or something, but I really wanna make this, where is it? It's over here. <laughs> My mind is like a mess right now. I really wanna make this Meyer lemon cake mix that I got from Trader Joe's last week. So I'm gonna make this for dessert, I think. How cute is this onesie though? I got this over the summer from Free People and I'm in love with it. Obviously the weather was so beautiful today so I just had this on. It was just kind of lounging around in it but I feel like it looks so cute with a baby bum. Hopefully they still have this on the website. I think they do but it's just a little romper onesie and it's so cute for spring and summer. So that's the outfit but I cannot believe how big my belly's getting, it's so crazy. Every time I look at myself, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Let's make this lemon cake bread because I'm just dying to see how it tastes. I love anything lemon, honestly. So we're gonna make this for dessert. All right, this is for the glaze. It comes with like a lemony glaze. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. One egg. Damn it. One cup of water. Lastly, some melted butter. I literally just melted it in my mug. This smells so good. It says to bake it for 50 to 55 minutes. 
on 350 so I'm just gonna stick it in the oven cannot wait to try this with the icing it's gonna be so good mm -hmm. 